All right, what's up guys? It's Wombat, and uh, right now I'm out here in my car, in the rain, not with my cousin though, and I am here going to do a review of this Blade Blade Spriggan Requiem. Zero Zeta. Let's get it. So this was a B100. And um, it's a balance type. It is like, it's the fourth Spriggan in the series. Just like Legend Spriggan, it is a dual spin. Um, has a brand new disc and driver. So yeah, let's uh, talk about all the parts. So this first part is the layer, uh, Spriggan Requiem. Now, this layer has been like kind of a problem since it was, uh, released I figured that um, basically it is dual spin it has the metal god chip in the center um, the spin direction changes the same mechanism as Legends Brigand so you can use um, the LR short winder or the long winder or the, uh, the string launcher actually to change it and Nobody knows my name, nobody knows my pain. Dropping my parts in the rain. Uh, and basically, um, because it is dual spin, you could have put it on uh, something like Polish Destroy to begin with, and just basically outspun whatever combo. If you're in the wrong direction, just switch and outspin it in the other direction. Um, Polish Destroy, I thought, had enough aggression to burst or KO Spriggan Requiem on Bearing, which was one of the only counters along with Legend Spriggan on Extreme. Just because, uh, opposite spin attack is so hard to use in, uh, the Beyblade Burst metagame just due to weak launching and self-bursting. But, uh, afterward they discovered that, uh, Spriggan Requiem on 7 Bearing, 7 Bump, 0 Bump Bearing was a much more powerful option. They restricted uh, Spriggan Requiem to only be used in... You couldn't change the spin direction throughout the battle. So, um... Basically people just started using left spin Spriggan Requiem bearing. And aside from like... Spriggan Requiem on Atomic. Which wasn't even... It was, it was less consistent than it should have been for whatever reason. Uh, Spriggan Requiem on Bearing kept dominating, made things like, uh, NL Orbit or NL Weight, or, like, NL, uh, Attack types stood a chance, but just not enough of one. And because they were left spin, they weren't viable against basically anything else, since, uh, this thing completely outclassed Fafnir when it came out. So they decided to ban Spriggan Requiem completely. And as of, like, a week ago, it is unbanned just because things like Archer Hercules and Hell Salamander have a better chance of dealing with it. The spin direction change is still restricted just because um, dual spin bearing would still be a real pain to deal with for pretty much anyone because I mean Hell Salamander on Atomic outspins SR bearing it outspin Hell Salamander bearing outspins SR bearing um, The problem is that if they switch to like right spin bearing, then it becomes a toss up. Uh, yeah, so they're not going to allow the mode direction change. Um, I need to find out if Archer Hercules Eternal outspins right spin SR bearing. I feel like it would, just because it's so much heavier. But or it's not even that much heavier. Spriggan Requiem is like 17 grams, and Archer Hercules is. I want to say mine is like. 17.68 or something. I actually had this in a video and I don't even remember. Wow. Um, but anyways, uh, the only area where it's really lacking is attack power, but if you're a defense stamina hybrid on bearing, you don't really need that. And its teeth are also pretty good too. Um, yeah. So overall, uh, it's a little, it's not as 
like game breaking as it was back in around back in early 2018 up until like March or April but it's still a very like powerful and versatile for it and I can see it being one for a long time um until it gets like completely outclassed by weight or some attack layer comes out that can reliably KO op opposite spin um stamina types which is something that hasn't really happened since uh legend spriggan to be honest and then the disc is the disc is zero uh zero is the heaviest disc in the game arguably it's tied with 10 i think officially but just due to weight variations yours may or may not be heavier than your 10. it is heavier than seven by i want to say a fraction of a gram officially um and because of that weight that does make it one of the best discs in the game um whether it's better than 10 or 0 is or 10 or 7 is still up for debate because um something that 10 and 0 have that it doesn't is a completely smooth underside zero has these little ridges here that keep it from being as good as like as good at life after death as either either of those other discs are which are smooth and this one is not so zero is best you zero uh if you're going to use it on something like bearing uh i wouldn't even recommend using it on revolve or eternal because 10 or 7 is better on those if you're going to use it on bearing use it with bump and make sure your combo is well balanced enough that bump lowers the center of gravity that it doesn't fall over um that's going to be a lot harder to do with the heavier Super Z layers than it was with Spring and Requiem. But uh, it's it's still possible. But um, whether it has more or less raw stamina than 7 or 0, I found that it loses to 7. And then um, in my recent video with Revive Phoenix, 7 was losing to 0. Or 7 was losing to 10 by a little bit. Um, so that makes... And I'm not sure where they all stand uh, burst resistance wise either. 10 seems like it's a little worse than 7 for me, but um, 0, I'm not sure. I 0 has the worst stamina out of the 3 in my experience, but I'm not sure where it stands burst resistance wise. And other people say that O oh, zero 0 beats 7 for them in a mirror match, so I'm not sure which is actually better. I feel like they're all roughly equal. And just, if someone says one of them is better, they just have like a good version of the part, and then not as good versions of the other parts. So yeah, overall, Zero is one of the best discs in the game. Um, not counting Outer, because it's banned in the WBO, and like, even outside of the WBO, not many people have it, so... Zero, or Seven, or Ten is gonna be a more popular option. And then uh, the driver is Zeta, which was inspired by um, Dronzer F's Flame Change Base and Varieri's Delta Drive from MFB. And basically it is the same gimmick tip. You can pull it out here and then change the modes. It has an attack mode, which is supposed to be Quake, but doesn't actually move like Quake. For me, it's pretty like non-aggressive for whatever reason a fusion or like plastic change tip and then finally a wide ball or massive tip so like not only are the um the tip selections considerably worse than they've been for the other two uh flame change had i think flat semi flat and spike and delta drive had flat wide ball and spike so those are better than fusion quake and massive so, um, just between the tip, the tip choices being worse, and, um, it just not being a very useful tip to begin with, because it's like, you can change between these three modes, but none of them are very useful, it's just not a useful driver overall. If you want, like, a ball tip, Atomic's gonna be your best bet. If you want Attack, Extreme, or Jolt, or Hunter, or Variable is gonna be better. If you want balance, then 
I don't even If you want balance, I don't know, maybe even something like destroy would be better than fusion. I don't even know what I consider like a balance tip anymore. Everything's kind of like a weird balance at this moment. Um But yeah, overall Zeta is definitely like the part of the Beyblade that is the worst. But yeah, uh, overall, uh, Spriggan Requiem is not only probably the most anticipated Beyblade of the God series, uh, it's also really powerful. It's actually not bad stock for some reason, like I've heard there's been a few tournaments where people have won with stock Spriggan Requiem, Requiem for some reason. Um, but basically... Yeah, still a very powerful part. You can get 0 and 7 in Random Booster 10, the full set. I forget what the 0 comes on at the moment. But, um, the Spriggan Requiem in there is blue. Um, that one has, like, slightly worse balance for me than this one. I don't know if it's true for all of them. It probably isn't, but, um... Yeah, the Spriggan Requiem starter also comes with the LR Longwinder, which is also pretty useful. Um, overall, I would still recommend getting this even today. It's one of the few Beyblades that hasn't been completely outclassed by uh, Super Z yet. So after this comes uh, Beat Kakulkin, Macaulay Kakulkin. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Crashing my car in the rain.